Hello everybody, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this, in this video, I want to show you how to convert a two-dimensional image like this one into a three-dimensional image like this. And we're going to do this using PowerPoint 2010 or 7. I'm demonstrating this in 10. The steps are virtually the same. So there's four steps to the process. The first thing we want to do is we want to select the one we, we want to use here and single that one out. So I'm going to choose Vimeo, which is a video sharing website. To do this, I simply click on the large image here one time. And once I've clicked on that, the picture tools format bar shows up. So I'm going to go up there and over to the right, I can crop. So crop turns where you've got the drag handles to resize it. There's now these little black lines and I can hover for any of the black lines and drag that puppy in there to be the size and shape that I want it to be. So once I've selected the right size, I simply click outside of it and now the image is cropped. If I overcropped, I went too far and messed it up. Go back, well, you could undo, but let's say after the fact, we're beyond the undo point. And then what you can do is go back, click on the image, go back to format, reset the picture to the original picture and size. And now I'm back to my beginning. So again, cropping, simply click the crop button, drag it in, and again, and let her, and then click outside. So now I have this thing. So I'm going to cut that and paste it on my PowerPoint slide where I want to have it. So here we go. And I want to put this around here. Now it's still two-dimensional. Two I want to make it three-dimensional. So my second step I want to do is again using the format ribbon. I'm going to go to picture layout. I'm sorry, I'll try again. Picture effects, 3D rotation, and choose the angle I want. So I want to angle backwards a bit. Let's say um, something like that. There we go. So step two, I've angled it. Now you'll notice I've made these nice large blocks out of this, and that's going to be our third step. In step three, I'm going to add some depth. So to add the depth to the block, my three-dimensional image, I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to go to Format the Picture, and this window is going to pop up, and I want to do some 3D formatting. And here I've got depth. So the depth I want, I chose 80 points. Uh, why 80 points? Eh, I don't know. I just trial and aired a couple. That one looked okay. And now it's nice and deep. So that's step three. Now the fourth step is I want to push this further back. I don't want it in front of everything here. So uh, what I want to do is when I highlight the, the, when I click on the object, the picture tools bar appears again. And I can send forward, bring forward or send backward. So I want to send it backward. And I can send it backwards one level because all of these are on different, each of these little blocks is on a different level. Or I can send it straight to the back and hit the drop down arrow. So here I'm going to send it straight all the way to the back. And now it's behind the other stuff. So it looks like it's supporting the YouTube one there and so on. So I'm happy with that one. Now, another one I've got here is this one for Blogger or Blogspot. I'm not sure which it is. Um, it's blocking my LinkedIn one and it's kind of in front and I'd rather this be underneath. So I don't want to send it to the very back necessarily. I just want to send it a little further back. So I can send backward one step and that didn't do anything. So it's, that's behind something else. And I click it again and again. There now it's behind these two, but it's still in front of the YouTube one. Send it backward again. There we go. And now it's behind them. So you get to decide exactly the level of all the different objects you have to make things um, look better. If I'm happy with how this looks, then my project's complete. So four steps. Crop your image, um, choose the angle of the 3D you want, add depth to it, and then play with the layers a bit. And when you play with the layers, I think you'll find some interesting ways of, of um, working with your documents, your text, your blocks, and all of that. I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.